You know what's good about Christmas time? When we order parts, all the motor factors, they send us like little treats, like boxes of Quality Street and mince pies. So I think it's, it's only fair I should go and share them with the office staff. And by the way, these, these mince pies are from Millfield Auto Parts in Peterborough. So thank you very much, Millfield Auto Parts. I'll go and give them to the women in the office, let them have a taste. Well, just to check they're okay to eat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Well, you know, I'd actually feel bad if I ate them all myself. So I think I'd better share them out. Marie! Yes, sir. Um, How are you doing? I'm alright. Would you like a mince pie? Yeah, go on then. I've twisted my arm. There you go. Thank you very much. Don't say I never give you nothing, okay? By and the you way, never give me nothing. <laughs> By the, by the way, I'm actually thinking of scrapping this car channel. I might start up a loving relationship channel. Oh my Do you reckon? Do no, you re stick to the cars. Oh, I thought I'd be the best person to give people advice. Well, no. <laughs> right, <laughs> who's next? Mrs M. What the hell, Alan? Oh, whoops. Silly me. No, I was just, uh, just offering you a mince pie, Monica, because as it is Christmas. Oh, thanks. Do you want to, do you want to kind of have a bite now? Give it a try? No, it's okay, I'll eat it later. No, really, you can have a bite now. I mean, don't feel embarrassed about eating in front of me. No, really, I will eat it later. Well, enjoy it. Ta-ra! See you, Marie. See you later. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> All right, everyone. What we've got today is a 16 plate Mark 5 Mondeo 2 litre diesel. It's came in here. The, basically, the clutch pedal is sitting halfway down its travel. It's still engaging gears perfectly fine, though. Although obviously it's not going to be long before the pedal is completely on the floor. So I thought first of all, let me check the records. Because the car is now sitting on 183,000 miles. And I'm thinking, has it had a clutch already fitted or is this the original? Because if it's the original, it's doing pretty well for a Mark V, I must say. I'll come back to, uh, later in this video, I'll explain how long the clutches last on, on these Mark V Mondeo 2 litre diesels, in my opinion. But anyway, for now, the clutch pedal sitting halfway down its travel. I'm looking at the records. It's on 183k. The mileage, when it last had a clutch, it did have a clutch fitted and a flywheel, what, just over 100,000 miles. And I'm thinking it's done like 83,000 miles since its last clutch. What the hell can be wrong? Is the slave cylinder leaking? I checked the reservoir, the master cylinder reservoir. It's full. There's no leakage. I look underneath at the bell housing of the gearbox to see if there's any drips of brake fluid, but there isn't. It's dry. <coughs> ah, I know what the problem is. The clutch pedal on these cars, there's a metal pin where the master cylinder uh, rod connects onto the pedal. I bet you that's snapped. Or it's snapping and it's making the pedal sit low. I have a look at that. Nope, that's perfectly fine. First off, I'm going to show you the pedal, because this is, this is a one-off that I've found. In all, in all the time we've had these Mark 5 Mondeos, this is the only time this has happened. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you this pedal first, sitting halfway down. Then I'm going to point you towards the video, which will show you how to get to the part you need to do to change it, if this ever happens to you. But it probably won't, so I don't have nightmares. Right. So you can see where that clutch pedal is sitting significantly lower than where it should be. It should be up here, about there, but it's sitting right down here. Spoiler alert, what's basically happened is, as I looked further up the clutch pedal, the rod that comes out of the clutch master cylinder that connects onto the clutch pedal has snapped clean off inside the master cylinder. This hasn't happened to me before. 
not, not on a Mark V Mondeo it hasn't anyway. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to have to remove the whole clutch pedal assembly as one unit in order to replace the master cylinder. If you want to see how that all comes apart, I've already done a video on this. You can watch it here. <laughs> Stick the old gloves on. <laughs> I suppose I better get my head underneath the dash with all the driver's skin here and God knows what that's crawling around down there. And remove the steering column and clutch pedal box. Got it. <laughs> Back here. Okay, I'm going to remove this clip which is holding our clutch rod onto our clutch pedal. Yep, I haven't lost it. <laughs> yeah, be careful it doesn't spring off and you lose it. You'll be, you're going to be needing this again to put it back together. Now I'll just slide this pedal box uh, like that. Right, I just wanted to show this because it isn't exactly obvious. Your actual clutch rod, which goes on your arm on your clutch pedal here, goes down into the master cylinder. But you can't really see anything wrong. The reason I noticed is that it's flapping around like that and it shouldn't be like that. So if I pull this off the pedal, and you can now see that it's broken. And there you go. That is literally sheared clean off. To remove the rest of this master cylinder from the back of this pedal box, I found they're a bit tight. So I normally put just a little bit of freeing oil down there where the, where the seal is. And you actually, you twist them clockwise to remove them. So, yeah, I'll give that a good twist and then that will pop out, like so. I better give that a little bit of a wipe, clean it up. <laughs> Ta da One new clutch, master cylinder. Shall we have a look in the box? Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> okay, you know I have noticed that this rod, the end of this rod, is literally just a ball joint which just pops into there but I bet you I bet you can't buy this little rod separate I bet you've got to buy the whole master cylinder I'm changing it now because I've taken it all apart anyway so <laughs> even if you could get this rod separate it's too late <laughs> right so I'm going to slide this back in there like that you'll notice this pipe here has got to be sitting at the 12 o'clock position when it's all back together so I'll give it a bit of a push and I'll twist it anti-clockwise until it snaps into place. You can't go too far because it will lock in. That's it. So now we can slide our clutch rod back onto the pedal pivot point and refit our clip. And that just snaps on as well. Once that clip's on, it's locked in place. It's not going to come off again. Right. All we've got to do now, stick it back in the car, bleed the clutch, and see if we've got our pedal back. I'll tell you one thing, I really hope the flywheel isn't rattling after all this and I've got to take the gearbox out. I will not be a happy bunny. Let's not forget the steering column. There's a little pipe, it runs from your brake master cylinder, and this pipe feeds your actual clutch master cylinder. The fluid just runs down this pipe out of your master cylinder reservoir. Uh, but these little clips here, they're little plastic clips, no matter how careful I try to be, there's always one of them that seems to break, just snap in half, because they're so, they're so brittle and they're just made of crap, plastic. So this side, I've bust it. But what I'm going to do, I've got myself a little cable tie, which I will wrap around there. And I will strap that cable tie up tight once I've actually got the pipe back into place and that will probably hold it. If it doesn't work, I've got a new pipe coming in the morning. As for bleeding these clutches, it's an 11 mil nut. If I don't do that about one and a half turns, I'll simply put a piece of washer pipe straight onto the, the, the nipple into a bottle half filled with brake fluid and I'll just pump the clutch pedal 
about 10 times and then tighten up your lock nut on your slow cylinder and that's it, the clutch will be bled. Oh, my little cable tie trick on that clutch pipe didn't work, it wasn't going to hold it. Luckily I found an old pipe with one of these clips on it. The funny thing is, one's blue, the one that broke, and the other one's red, but I think they're just colour coded to say which end goes on which. Obviously the blue end goes on your master cylinder end, and the red end goes on your uh, brake reservoir end. But I found out both clips are identical apart from the colour, so this one will fit on anyway. So I'll pop this on, then that's the job totally done. Just one thing here, I always use my hand to, bleed, to push these clutch pedals down when I bleed them. And I always put one hand and hold the brake pedal pressed down. I seem to find it, it kind of makes it easier to bleed I, for some reason, I don't know. Maybe it's just habit. Then I use the other hand to push the clutch pedal up and down. And I'll do that about 10 odd times. And at the last stroke, I'll bring it back up, crack off the nut, and the clutch is bled and it's perfectly fine. You notice I've got to drive these cars onto these wooden blocks to raise the front up a little bit. Because if I don't do that, I won't be able to get these two posts to support underneath these plastic trims to get it on the chassis to support the car. Shall we see if it works? The first thing I'm going to point out here, our clutch pedal is now sitting where it bloody well should be. Here goes. Bingo, it works. That's it. That's another job done. The funny thing is, I was expecting when this job came in to take the gearbox out because I wanted to talk about fitting the clutch. I could do it now, but I'm figuring maybe not. That's for another day. And in actual fact, there is a clutch that is worn out, a flywheel that's worn out, that's coming in next week. So I'll try and do it then. And I'll just tell you how I fit the clutches. Don't get excited. It's nothing interesting. But I'll do that next week. This one's done. So that's it, we're done for today. There's only one thing left to do then, isn't there? <laughs> and it involves destroying a clutch slave's... Oh my God! It, it's, it's the Irishman! Oh, it's Paddy! Paddy! You all right, Alan? Can we like a coffee? I'd love one. Go on then. Are you going to make it for us then? Yeah, all right, fuck it. <laughs> no, it's all right. Fine. You, you're, you're obviously too busy now, aren't you? you go you're and, obviously too busy. You go and do your thing, I'll make it. No problem. I've got nothing else to do. Right. Let's go and carve ourselves a master cylinder. Gotcha! Yeah! And this is how it all ends. Oh, it's already split its seam. Oh, that had to hurt. Yeah! Okay, this is a bit tougher than expected. I'm gonna need a bigger press. No! Oh! <laughs> Okay, let's release the pressure. There. <laughs> that, that is one clutch master cylinder. That's what it should look like. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, bye-bye. That's it. Job done. Till the next time. See ya.